perhaps the biggest themes or trends that we found or we experienced in 2021 was definitely a backlog of work arising out of very little having been done in 2020. So we found that a lot of clients um, got their confidence back, um, were looking to be a bit more acquisitive, were involving themselves in transactions. And arising out of that, we did a lot of, of, of restructuring work. So we, we, we found we were instructed a lot in, 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 in tidying groups up uh, pre-acquisition, also in integrating groups post-acquisition, and generally just tidying up corporate structures um, where there had been a need or where projects had been delayed arising out of, of, of the COVID pandemic in, 20, in 2020. There's a number of reasons why clients look to restructure. It, it can be because their group has, has gotten too, too large and too complex. They may have acquired companies. They may have incorporated companies for, for purposes that are no longer needed. Um, and as time goes on, they, they just look to simplify that structure. And, and there's a number of ways of doing that. Uh, and, and, that, and that's our purpose, is to, is to help them do that in the most cost efficient and in the most time efficient manner possible. In terms of a big trend from 2021, we're seeing a lot more um, Irish groups avail of the domestic merger process. There seems to be an understanding of the process, um, a, a confidence in the process. And as a result, we're, we're, we're being asked to do it more and more. So the, 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 the 2014 Act did introduce a number of, of company law tools but again, it's taken a while for our clients to, to understand that they're there, to understand that they're, they're, they're not expensive, and they, they are actually a very quick and easy way to simplify a group structure. So the merger process in particular has become very popular. We have done a very large number of them. We have done a large number of complex ones. And in all cases, it has given the clients the results that they wanted. I'm excited about 2022. There's been so much um, activity, uh, so much M&A activity this year that I, I believe there's going to be a lot of group integration work next year. So we're going to see a continuation of this busy trend in terms of simplifying group structures. I, I, I see more reliance on these Companies Act tools, so the domestic merger process that I've mentioned, the capital reduction process, um, and, and hopefully we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see that keeping us busy in, in 2022. In terms of challenges, the biggest challenge we've encountered during the whole COVID lockdown has been moving from the heavy reliance on wetting signatures and, and hard copy documents. So definitely in 2021, we and our clients have all become pros at, at using the likes of, of, of DocuSign and other electronic signatures in circumstances where that's appropriate. However, one of the challenges we've encountered, and it's going to continue into 2022, is, is the fact that not all documents can be executed electronically. So this can extend to, to deeds where the company seal needs to be affixed, and while there are some measures that can assist, um, they're imperfect. There's also the challenges with the company's registration office, and the fact that while they now accept scanned signatures, they don't accept electronic signatures. Um, so we'll continue to work to, to try and um, stream, streamline that process because it, it, it is definitely an impediment to completing transactions as smoothly as we would like to for our clients.